Hi, my name is Christine Lavernia and I'm doing the African outfit. First, I'm going to tell you about the teeth. Um, they have four molars in their mouth, which are a foot long, which is like this long. And um, the molars start from the back of the mouth and come forward. And when they come forward, they go all the way forward and they're wearing down as they come forward. And right behind it is another molar. And when this molar falls out, this molar is right behind it and then it's wearing out at the same time and then this one falls out and then another one comes and that happens six times and they pour in their mouth and they have two tusks which is six teeth because the tusk is a tooth, the two fangs in the front and that's the teeth. And they weigh about, um, the male weighs 40,000 pounds which is 20 tons and the female weighs about 15 tons which is about 30 pounds. And their habitat is in Africa. Um, that part of Africa, which is where we're right now. And this is the red part. And um, they have, they put um, hay and stuff on their back so um, to protect from the sun and from insects. And um, they eat in zoos, they eat like all kinds of fruit and stuff that they eat in the wild. But in the wild, they're um, they only eat plants like branches, <coughs> leaves, and anything off trees and on the ground, except for insects and stuff. And um, they um, always are near a water source because they have to take a bath every day. It's a very hygiene place, and they um, put mud and stuff on their back after that. And they can get 20 gallons. They get 20 gallons of um, water in their trunk at a time, and they um, eat 500 pounds of food every day. That's the average for the adult. And um, the baby, um, the gestation period is 22 months, which is almost two years. And they stay with the mother for 12 years, the bull, which is the boy. And um, the girls stay together, which is the herd. And the herd is led by the oldest female and they stay together all their life and then the males just come when they're um, breeding and then they'll leave um, right before it's born and they don't have anything to do with the baby, they just leave. And um, a baby is about 200 pounds when they're born and three feet tall and they can walk after two days, uh, two days after they're born they can walk and the mother helps them walk with their trunk. And um, the mother, the elephants use their trunk to help the babies walk, to get food, to um, to be aggressive, to make noises, to communicate, and that's like a, an arm for them, like for us. And they um, communicate with their ears, their like their tail, they like move their body, and when they're really mad, they'll perk their ears up to make them look bigger, and they'll raise their trunk. And um, Height of the elephants, actually, the tusks are about um, three to four feet long, but for about a baby, and that's this long. And the height of a full grown bull is um, 11 feet. And um, the baby went to walk, but the baby is three feet tall, and that's about a yard long, and that's how tall they are, 11 feet. And um, that's, and um, when a uh, elephant dies, they'll stay with the um, elephant for about two to three days, and they'll actually bury it sometimes if it's like a really important person, but a lot of times they just leave it there, and they're being <laughs> killed by, um, poachers and there's only about 500,000 of them left that doesn't seem like very little but usually when um, you went to Africa like when they you know like a long time ago all you could see was elephants but now you, you have to look really hard for a pack so they're becoming extinct but not really and the difference between um, an Asian and African elephant <coughs> is that Asian has smaller ears and African has bigger ears but, don't that. but um, the African elephant both male and female have tusks, but the Asian elephant, um, only the male has tusks. Any questions?
Nikki. Um, how many gallons of water can they keep in their stomach? In their stomach? Uh, I have no clue. <laughs> Sorry. How can you tell a male from a female? Well, the way you can tell a human and um, the males are usually bigger. Stephanie? Um, what? How long is their tail? Their tail? I don't know. Probably like three feet or something. Actually, when um, the female, um, do they like, does the baby have to have like a big drop or something? Actually, yes. They have a big so drop. Sort of I like saw that on my video and they do drop pretty far, but it doesn't hurt them. The mother helps them out of the way. Is that like something over there or something? No. Oh. I was like, how long is the lifetime? Like, Seven years. And each tooth lasts for about ten years. Mm -hmm. um, Any more questions? Did you know the scientific name for you? It's hard to say, but it's like Laganda Elefante. <laughs> <laughs> um, any more questions, Paul? What's the gestation period? Um, 22 months. Okay. What's your favorite kind of food? They like fruit Besides a fruit. lot. They love fruit. What's your favorite kind of food? I have no idea what their favorite food is. Do they really like peanuts? Yes, they love peanuts. <laughs> in the zoos. I don't think in the wild they've ever heard of a peanut. But um, <laughs> in the zoos, they love peanuts. And they love fruit. And, and can they run? Yes, and they can also mm -hmm. swim. They can? Mm -hmm. and they, how fast can they run? Do you have any idea? My expert said 20 miles an hour in sprints, but that's like as fast as they can go because they're so big. And they don't have any predators except for human because they're so big. But they do get funguses in their feet, and that's the main diseases they get. And that's why they're always checking their feet. Are they really scared of mice? <laughs> I never heard of that before. Cool. Oh. Are those like the toenails that they have on the feet? What are those big things called? What do you mean? They have like these. Yeah, they are toenails. They're toenails. They're toenails? Yeah. They're actually kind of fancy. Um, can they swim? Yeah. They can swim, but I don't know how fast. Um, They're so mm -hmm. happy. How come they don't sink into the ground and go? I really don't know that answer. Oh, and what's per what did you explain the purpose of like the mud and stuff? Like that? The mud is to protect it from the sun because it's so hot, and from insects. Like, they're not like insects. Um, if they can swim. Um, how do you, if you know how long can they stay in the water to swim? Like, can they do they just um, bathe themselves in there, or do they also really swim? From they bathe water? themselves in the um, water, and they swim like in Asia, the Asian elephants. That's part of their like their job. So they use so they bathe by using. They How many young can they have at a time? They can have twins, but that's extremely rare. But every five years they can have a baby. And what's the age of sexual maturity? Twelve. Twelve years old. Mm -hmm. They're almost like humans, except the gestation period is really long. Any more questions? Okay, I guess I'll have to talk to them. Oh, are they really hairy? They're hairy, but not like really, really, really hairy. Like they have hair on them because they're mammals. Do they have or um, like this spiky hair? That I don't know. I think it's like soft. Do you know where the hair is located on the body? All of them. Can you talk about their skin? Their skin is really, really rough. It's like um, like hard and rough and it's like, it doesn't feel good on your hands. It's um, to protect them from the sun and um, when they... You said they communicated by their um, ears and tail. Mm -hmm. Why do they make that noise when they turn? That's like talking. They're talking. They also communicate. Right. They, like... How do they sleep? They lay down. <laughs> do they have whiskers? No, I don't think so. <coughs> um, um, isn't their skin dry? They yeah, have? but um, because it's so hot, but they do take a bath every day, so that makes it wet. And is there any? Do they have like? Do they have other animals that care for them at all? Well, like on my video, reason? there was this white bird that was always <laughs> following them around. But what did it do? It, it just followed them around. I don't know. It didn't help them out? I don't, it, I don't know. It isn't like pet.
check out and get insects on. A lot of, a lot of big animals have mutually beneficial It reactions. may, uh, like the bird may have like, pecked at his legs to get like mm -hmm. insects off of them or something. But, yeah.